What's up, Earth Signs? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back with the weekend vibes as well as full moon and Virgo reading. So, we're just going to be checking out what the energy is going to be like for this full moon weekend for you guys. Okay, so without further ado, this is for Capricorn, Taurus, as well as Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the weekend vibes. As well as the full moon in Virgo spirit. What's coming in for my earth sign? You guys had a very interesting reading on um, TikTok last weekend. It's like a 10 minute video. I urge you guys to come over there and follow me on TikTok as well. And check out that reading. I feel like I also put it up on Instagram as well. Because a couple of people called me after the weekend on Monday and Tuesday. And whatever I said would transpire over the weekend actually transpired in the early part of the week. So I do feel like somewhat these uh, messages are still timeless, even though I'm picking it up for the weekend. Okay. So without further ado, we're going to hop right in. Holy Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides to the Highest White Light. Please use me as a vessel of clear, concise, channeled messages for Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the weekend vibes, as well as the full moon in Virgo. So, what's coming in for my earth signs? Ooh, okay. That fell out the back. I don't like when that happened. Alright, so I feel like y'all cleansing y'all energy, which is good. Because last weekend, I definitely was picking up that you guys needed to get y'all protection game up. You know, um, yeah. So, yes, that that's what I feel. Because I do feel like people was trying to knock you off your square earth signs. You know, take it as it resonates because you can play any role in this reading. But I do feel like um, whoever here was feeling like they was being knocked off their pivot or something to that extent, it's like you are relieving yourself from those type of energies in your immediate space. I do feel like you also can be like purifying your home. I'm seeing saging, smudging, um, some people doing tribal dances, and I do feel like that uh, helps us to kind of connect with the ancestors. So that may be something that you earth signs are into this weekend, because I do feel like... Um, you were having a hard time overcoming certain things, all right, with resilience in reverse, or at least that's what somebody's intentions was in your life. Somebody's intentions in, in your life was make, trying to make it hard. They didn't want you to be resilient. People didn't want you to um, be able to overcome certain things. And I do feel like with you cleansing out your energy, they're not going to have a choice but to see you be resilient, okay? It's like people that put you through certain things, it's like they almost took it as a fence when you overcame it or when you caught wind and you started to turn your back to certain people and you started to cleanse them from your energy, okay? Because with purity here, it's definitely giving me a very much smudge cleansing energy because you had people around you who was making it they aim to get you off your path, who didn't want you to, over to see you overcome certain difficulties, possibly ones that they put you in. They could have been proud of themselves. Look at this. Protection is at the bottom of the deck in reverse. So, okay, but yeah, I'm getting protection in reverse. So, you definitely could have became susceptible to certain things or had some certain things affect your life. Ooh, somebody was coming for your beauty too, Earth Signs. So, it definitely could. I don't know if this is a jealous male or a jealous female energy, but it's like this person is jealous of your path, your beauty, you know, your spiritual protection. So, you possibly had to up the ante. Maybe you was already, like, cleansing your energy, but you didn't know to what extent somebody was placing intentions over you, okay? Trying to get you to, to not thrive. I feel like a lot of you could have came from a place where... I mean, I feel like most of the time, earth signs are pretty stable. So, that's kind of hard to believe. That's why I said take this as it resonates. But, um, honestly speaking, some of you guys could have came from a time in y'all life where y'all had a lot of desires that y'all had to actually be patient and wait for. You know, whether it was um, rise, a rise in your career, you know, getting married, getting pregnant. It was certain things in your life that you were waiting a long time for. And it required patience. And... It could have had you feeling some kind of way. I'm not going to lie. You know, Earth signs, you guys are very grounded. Y'all like home and hearth. So when it comes down to family, children, you know, being married, having that spouse, 
having y'all credit score together and thriving in y'all career, that's an important, those are important achievements to you guys. And it's like, if you went from a place where you had to kind of go through the storm to get to the prize, it's like you were getting to the prize and and I don't know what it is, but it's like for some odd reason, no matter what struggles you had to overcome to get to the prize, it's like people wanted to keep you in that in that purgatory pretty much. They wanted to keep you in the in-between of always having to be patient and wait for what it is that you want. But it was right there. It's like you alchemized things and you opened up portals for yourself. You opened up doors for yourself with your own resilience that people didn't want you to have. And whether these people try to tear your beauty down by, you know, basically their unsolicited opinions or, you know, basically looking at your beauty with jealousy and trying to transform it in a negative way. I was definitely getting this when I was asking about, um, you know, what are the punishment of those that have wronged you? I was getting that people were doing things like beauty spells. So, you know, you guys... It's just something else here. I don't know who this could be in y'all life. This could be somebody that y'all really don't even know. Like, this could literally be somebody that's, like, crushing on your spouse. It don't have to be somebody that they had an affair with or whatever. It could be, like, a coworker that liked them. You get what I'm saying? And this person is trying to attack your beauty. They don't want you to be on your path. They trying to destruct or obstruct your path as well as, you know, basically, uh trying to continue to pile burdens on your back or make things continue to make things uh burdensome but i'm seeing that you guys are healing and y'all shining y'all shining bright like a diamond and they don't like that it's people that don't like that okay keep in mind that we talking about the full moon guys normally i know the weekend vibes are lighter but at the same time during the full moon we talking about what what needs to be released and so this was something that you had to do you had to clear your energetic field because you noticed or you had to Definitely step your protection game up because this protection at the bottom of the deck came in reverse. So either these people thought you didn't have spiritual protection and they was testing your gangster, you and your ancestors, or, you know, your, your spiritual protection needed to be taken to a different level because people was realizing that you were spiritually protected and they was trying to find ways around it. Okay, and like I said, this definitely lines up with last week because y'all was being told to protect yourself last week, especially pregnant women and people that are getting ready to launch or get new businesses off the ground. You be you was being asked to be private about new pregnancies and new businesses. You get what I'm saying? Because you had somebody that wanted to take your place. All right, so let's go ahead and expand on this energy earth signs. I'm doing a collective. We're going to pull a moonology for each sign at the end. Okay. Yeah, nine of pentacles in reverse. This is definitely somebody that wanted the status of your relationship to change or they wanted to put you in a position where you couldn't take care of yourself. So here's what I'm getting for some of you. For some of you, this could be somebody that definitely hurts you. And this person could be so egoic that they expected you to spend a lifetime in regret and pain for leaving them behind. So it's like this person kept encanting over your life that you'll never find anybody else, that you'll always be stuck on them, that you'll always need them, that you, you know, they made you, whatever. You know, you know what people were saying, people that you was in relationships with, whoever this person is. It's like because they wanted you... To be codependent on them, okay? And for other people, it's like they trying to make you single because they want your relationship. So take it as it resonates because I'm reading this collectively for Capricorn, Taurus, as well as Virgo. All right? And so you, like I said, this definitely required patience. Whatever it is that you're coming into that somebody was trying to keep you away from, no matter what that is, it, like I said, you might have had to go through many negative partners or toxic partners or karmics in order to get to the love of your life and now it's like as soon as you find the love of your life now all of a sudden somebody want them you know what i'm saying and it's like okay he's been single for three years so it's, you know what i'm saying like it just be that kind of thing where somebody don't people don't want your partner until they see you on their arm and it's like okay this person gotta have it going on somewhere in their life to get them because obviously this person admires your beauty if they want to pull your beauty you get what i'm saying and i feel like this person was trying to come for your beauty 
all right so it's like you kept on moving throughout life virtuously just trying to be patient when it comes down to climbing the ladder in your life some way somehow whether it was waiting for the perfect partner you know waiting for somebody to be able to have a beautiful family with waiting for a career advancement but it's like while you were manifesting somebody was counteracting your manifestations by saying they hope you don't get it they hope you don't get it they think they deserve it you know instead of you being pregnant or you having a new wife or uh having your wife pregnant or something they feel like that your wife should be theirs and that that should be their baby or that they their do a promotion not you or that you don't deserve that new home or that new car or you know that 200 point raise in your your credit score like these people didn't want to see you evolve out of whatever it is that you've been waiting to evolve out of they wanted to keep you waiting they wanted to keep you in balance but you guys are coming up as the temperance it's like y'all trust the universe you see how she looking to the sky and then just keep in mind in general hold on y'all why the light so bright okay so you see how she like she's an artist but she look into the sky like god i know you got me you know i i was feeling led to express my creativity and i did that so i know you're gonna send the angels to not only protect me which you are protected but like i said these people were so desperate to keep you at a certain place so that you can basically lose hope that's what they wanted you to do you know and I feel like right now, it's like you pulling back your energy, earth signs. I'm definitely seeing Virgos doing that. And some of y'all that can be Capricorn, Sagittarius, Cusp, or y'all could have had those type of people around y'all. But some of y'all are earth angels. And I feel like y'all have so much faith in the universe that y'all knew it was coming. Y'all knew it was just a matter of time. But what y'all probably didn't know that it was the pe some people, I'm not going to say every person around you. I'm pretty sure you got some genuine people in your space. But it was people around you that was actually hoping that you didn't get something. Hoping that you had to keep perpetuating waiting. It's like they wanted you to keep waiting. They wanted you to give up. They wanted you to not feel brave enough to pursue the things that you want. Because you guys actually come up with good ideas. You're very intriguing and interesting to people. They want more. It's like you can't just have one conversation. You can't just have one moment with Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You know, people like y'all leave people wanting more. Whether it's more of your time, more of your advice, you know, um, more from a relationship, all of that. I feel like that's the energy that y'all bring. And so that's the energy that y'all deserve in y'all life, you know. But y'all have people watching you trying to blow the whistle. Y'all have whistleblowers, like people that, y'all getting something so similar to Aquarius. So, I mean, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. So y'all could be uh, attached to one of them signs, okay? All right. So we get all this Prince energy. Y'all dealing with somebody that's extremely immature. I feel like you guys could be the princess of wands because I just feel like right now y'all hot. I'm just getting this girl is on fire by Alicia Keys. And it's giving me a very much energy where right now is a time of your life where you being heard, where people are resonating with what it is that you have to say. And I don't care if you work for a corporate company. This is just... You know, whenever you speak up to management or whenever you offer an idea or whatever, it's like, you know, management respects you enough to hear you out. You know, when it comes down to, um, you know, just, I don't know, like you're respected. Like people are starting to see you in that light. They see you, you bring the fun energy, but it's also like you're very creative and full of ideas. And it's like people like to be around you because of that. You know, no matter what the area is, but you have somebody watching, waiting, looking, you know, and just trying to see what it is that, like, this is people that knew you or think they know you anyway, because whoever this is, it's like they feel like they got receipts. So this is just one of them people you can't even trust to talk to, be around, send pictures to. I don't care what kind of pictures it is. Like, this is even if it's just a picture where you ain't looking your best. Like, look, I'm in a hospital and this person want to blast it everywhere. Like, oh, yeah, they glamorous everywhere else. But look at what I got. You know what I'm saying? They ain't that cute when they got COVID. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, girl, who is going to be? You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. Whoever this person is, they just petty. And it's like you pulled your energy. You might have saw a shift in their energy even if they tried to hide it. You could have pulled your energy back. But this person kept watching you and trying to figure out how they can blow up your life in some kind of way. You get what I'm saying? But they can't do that. 
They can't do that because I see things coming in for you now because of your, yeah, they ain't want you to be confident. That's another thing. So it's like you could be looking your best. I'm telling you, you could be dressed to a T, smelling good, lotion kicking, like, oh girl, you smell fresh out the bath. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, but you guys could just be really stepping in y'all glory and this person will come along and find something to complain about or just start fixing your clothes or start fixing your hair to try to make you feel like you got to go and check yourself when you know you're looking good as hell. And for a lot of you, if it's not a feminine energy, like feminine on feminine, where this is a co-worker or a friend, then this can absolutely be a masculine energy. And it's like, you could have loved this person in the past, but I feel like you've been let them go. But, um... I'm getting that this is definitely someone, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm getting so many scenarios, but just keep in mind, it's all three of y'all, so I'm getting this a couple of ways, like this could be somebody that's supposed to be close to you, but you just notice that this person can't compliment you for shit, you know what I'm saying, like, it ain't even just complimenting your looks, but it's like, when, you, when something good happened in your life, all of a sudden, it's like this person just disappears. Like, they ain't nowhere to be found for days. So, the thing got to tell you, congratulations, I'm proud of you, I'm happy for you, nothing. You get what I'm saying? When you looking good as hell, everybody would be complimenting you. This person could be completely quiet or they'll just find the one thing that, that they feel like look wrong about you. And the same thing with a man. This can be a man and you can get a lot of attention as a woman. And everybody always telling you how beautiful, gorgeous, radiant, and everything else that you are. But whenever this person come around, it's like they pick and poke at the smallest little imperfections. And it's like, if you could trade those 100 compliments for this one person's compliment because it's your man or the man that you like, then you would. But this person knows that. And that's why they don't give it to you. Because they see you with too much things that make you happy. And they don't, they don't, they can't bear to add to that happiness. It's like, you already get everything you want, so why should I? That's the energy I'm getting for this person. You've outgrown these connections, okay? And then for others of you, like I said, if it's a person that got a crush on your person, you know, and I don't know why, but I'm getting heavy coworker vibes, then this is the type of person where everybody else is complimenting how beautiful you are. Like, man, you really looked up. She's gorgeous. Da 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 da. And this person will walk by and look like, hmm, she I. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to downplay how gorgeous you actually are and how lucky your man should feel or how lucky your girl should feel because they really want to be the one that's getting that type of recognition. They want to be the one that's on your person's arm and they want to be the one that everybody is telling. They so lucky to have you, but ain't nobody thinking about them. You get what I'm saying? So that's why this person want to knock you off your pivot. You know, they want to bypass your spiritual protection. They want to snatch your beauty. You know, this person could even be studying your beauty because it looked like this person just be up late at night trying to figure out how they can break your confidence down. How they can make you feel like your ideas aren't creative enough or like they won't do anything. So a lot of ways that this person may manipulate you. Is through making you second guess yourself. Yeah, you getting everything you want and this person don't want you to have it. With this great fortune, I feel like for some of you, the ones the ones of you where this is an ex for you, it's like they want you to see, as, see them as the end all be all. They want you to see them as everything that you ever wanted in life. So even if you try to move on from this person, they may try to block you from other connections so that you can come running back to them like, oh, I've never been happier and... You know, I really realized that we should just try to work it out when you already know it's something better and you're willing to be patient. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like they want to throw your thoughts off. They want you to second guess, you know, what it is that you're striving for. Like, well, can I really achieve that? Was my standards too high? No, they wasn't. This person just wants you to think that. Or they want you to think that you're not as good as you actually are, especially if they're uh, somebody like a friend, a coworker, or something like that. Yes, it's like you know your luck is coming. You know your day is coming. You know how universal laws work. And you know that because of all the greatness that you put out, you know, <laughs> oh my God, you outgrew this person. Once again, this could be somebody that you were married to in the past. Again, you might have gotten a divorce from this person. And if this person see you moving on to what type of connection would truly make you happy, then they pissed. You know, you outgrew them. You probably need somebody that's more mature and distinguished. And you just saw this as something that wouldn't move forward and wouldn't grow. 
So it's like you lightheartedly entertain the things that have the potential to be long term, you know, and if it's career wise, then you are only wanting to entertain things that's going to take you to success, not keep you stuck in a loop year after year with no extra achievements being added to your credentials. Okay, so let's see. Why is the uh, Princess of Swords here? Yeah, they just judging you. They watch you just to judge you. They watch you. This is, man, this is somebody that got... For some of you, like, you actually left this person because they had a relationship with somebody else outside of you. Or they could have cheated on you and left you for somebody that they got pregnant while y'all was together. Okay, and this person be steadily watching you. This person got extreme inner childhood wounds. And that's the reason why they operate in relationships like this, where they feel like they have to have all this control because they possibly have like separation anxiety or um, abandonment issues, rejection wounds. Things are unblocking for you. So if this person blocked your creativity, blocked any of your chakras or is blocking your love life or how attractive people see you. The veil is being lifted and they're not going to be able to veil how gorgeous and how much your inner beauty shine anymore. That's it. And then on top of that, your confidence is going to be basically backing up how aesthetically pleasing you actually really are. Yeah, you got more people complimenting you than you have trying to put you down. So that's what you need to focus on. And I feel like that's what y'all are focusing on. Y'all purifying y'all space to this individual. I got to hurry up because I'm about to run out of space so i gotta clear out some storage all right so let's go ahead and get a moonology for capricorn okay it says work through your fears and that's what you're doing because people you finding out that people was just reject i mean people was just projecting this so that you can feel rejected and that 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 can manifest but now you realizing that you can't go by other people's opinion you just gotta go by what you know this could have been a scorpio doing this to you Okay, you could have been afraid to leave this person, afraid to move on, afraid to pursue higher levels of uh, status in your career because this person always puts you down or, you know, they didn't really want to see you doing better. Okay, for Taurus, it's time to take action here. So if you haven't already done this, then this is something that you are, are being urged to do. Okay, and for Virgo, it's saying don't let your pride get in the way. So... Don't stoop to this person's level. It's like, and if you had that inclination or if you wanted to do that, then it's like, don't let your ego, like, don't get into an ego uh, competition with this person. Let them be the egoic one. Let them work through their inner childhood wounds. You know, you can stay knowing and being confident in yourself, but don't let it turn into a, a, a negative way of being because I feel like this person don't want you to operate out of your higher self. They want you to operate out of your lower self, stoop to their level so you can continue to have to wait on your blessings rather than receive them. Okay, so hopefully this helped. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe. Check me out on my other social media platforms, and I'll check you guys out in the next one. Peace.